just completed a blog post on Swingmaster Charters titled Elliott Wave Counting Without the Pain. And I won't go into everything that we did. I'd suggest you go read the post itself. But basically what we've done is that we have uh, created 45 minute bars in order to get a 120 bar chart so we could use the Elliott Wave Oscillator to count Elliott Waves. And this is the January 15th high, the February 5th low, uh, which was yesterday. And we were able to count uh, five waves down, completing a larger wave one. And it's a pretty simple process, and I recommend that you go take a look at it. It's actually uh, fairly straightforward and simple. But we have all the steps uh, in the on how to use the Swingmaster Charter software to do that. Uh, but the question is, what do you do uh, once you know or suspect that you have a wave one down? What you do from there is we have our Elliott Wave guidelines, and they can be used with classic and modern Elliott Wave analysis to use Fibonacci uh, price and time to try and get a handle on what to expect on the completion of a wave one and the beginning of a wave two. What can you expect the wave two to look like? All right, so let's take a look at the wave two guidelines. And what are the conditions for a wave two? It's most likely a zigzag, which is an up-down-up pattern. Uh, triangles are the least likely and, in fact, held, happen very seldom. The implications of a wave two, it's most likely to be more than 50% in time of wave one, uh, which means that you don't want to act prematurely. Uh, a little patience is required. You want to see an ABC pattern. And these are the Fibonacci price and time ratios that occur most commonly in a wave two. Price is more than 50% and less than 79% of wave one. And time, almost always more than 50%. And most commonly, somewhere between 62 and 162% of wave one. So let's use the Fibonacci analysis. And what we've done is we've set up the uh, daily spy bars and an analysis chart. And now we'll apply the Fibonacci price and time uh, ratio tools to see what to expect. And the first we'll do is a decay retracement. And we'll do it from the January 15th high to the low. So we would expect the SPY to retrace more or higher than 179.33, but less than 182.54. So we have a price zone that we can reasonably expect uh, the retracement rally to get to. Now we'll do time. And we'll do a time retracement because we're looking for percentages. And we'll click on the January 15th high, February 15th low. And the guidelines called for a, I think 50%, more than 50% in time of uh, wave one. This would be wave one down. So 50% occurs Friday, February 14th. So we would not expect the next down leg to begin until after Friday, February 14th. And if we look at the 62 to 162% most common, uh, we would expect that this rally wave uh, because it's now, we believe now, the main trend is down. Uh, so we would expect a counter trend rally to take place between February 19th uh, to March 11th, with the termination point occurring uh, somewhere within that time frame. So now what we've been able to do using the Elliott Wave Oscillator in the campaign chart with a 120 bar chart we were able to determine that a wave one down has occurred and using the LA wave guidelines and the Fibonacci tools we can create an expected zone uh, for what we now consider this counter trend rally. So that doesn't mean it's going to happen but you now have some expectations 
If uh, the rally falls short of expectations, we know that the downtrend is stronger than originally anticipated. And if it ends up blowing through our 79% retracement, then we have to put the whole uh, you know, new bear market idea uh, away for a while longer, as we've had to do several times in this rally. Okay, I hope uh, you found this useful. I think you'll find that Swingmaster Chartist has uh, unique features like this you just can't get anywhere else. And I suggest that you go there and download a free trial and check it out.